Hello, welcome to karting. My name is Ariel. I am a kart racing driver. In international competitions in karting, you can find a lot of famous people. Today we will speak to Mike Wilson. We have asked him a few questions about karting many years ago and karting nowadays. Mike Wilson, the king of kart. An Englishman living in Italy. The most winning man in karting history. Six-time world champion between 1981 and 1989. I think basically what's changed from now to uh, when you were talking where we had air-cooled engines, now the water-cooled engine, is uh, the performance is much better because th the temperature of the engine is very consistent and uh, the engines have a, a little bit longer life than before due to the fact that you can keep the, the temperature very, uh, like I said, consistency. And uh, yeah, I think from now to the years we, we were talking about, it's been a big step forward. Mike Wilson came to Italy at the age of 18. He won everything in cutting. But when, during the Formula 3 tests, he was ahead of the closest contender for a place in the team by 1.2 seconds, the team chose not Mike, but another guy who had 200 million lira for the racing season. Unfortunately, uh, karting has become uh, a very expensive sport. Unfortunately, the kids who have a lot of talent, who could have the possibility to go forward, they don't have the budget to be able to compete at this level of karting because the expenses have really gone sky high and it, it's it's a bad situation because you know kids who could, who could make a, a good career unfortunately because they don't have the money there's only certain there's only to a certain point that they can race which is a, a fairly low level now because at this level believe me you need to have a good sponsor or you need to have a good budget yourself after finishing his karting career in 1991, Wilson founded his own Rakama team using his own chassis. Fernando Alonso achieved his kart victories in Mike Wilson's team. Until now, Wilson has been working as a racing coach. It was Wilson who taught young Lance Stroll to drive kart. Well, when I was racing, I, uh, yeah, okay, uh, I, th I think the sport was uh, much less expensive, uh, give the possibility to younger drivers who were coming up or had talent not to have uh, a, a, a big budget and be able to put themselves in the limelight and maybe find a, 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 one of the official teams who would pick them up. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen today because to be here in the beginning, for at least for the first couple of years, you have, you have to have the budget yourself. And this, for me, is a big problem at the moment. The priceless award Mike Wilson received through Ayrton's Senna's words. Once Ayrton said, there's just one driver I never managed to beat, Mike Wilson. In Israel, you know, you have to start at a low level. And I think when, when you've got, you think you've got the experience uh, to be able to move up category, and come to these international races, uh, that's good. But at the end of the day, you have to go with one of the, one of, uh, a good team. And to pick a good team, you have to ask how much it costs per race. And unfortunately, it's it's quite expensive. This is one of the reasons why we are losing car drivers too early because some of them are spending more than what they would spend in Formula Four. And this is crazy. I mean, it's. I mean, go karting should not be spending that type of money. They should be. It should be a sport allowed for everybody. Even the. Uh, for example, when I started racing, my father was just a normal worker. But if I was 12 years old today, at this level, it would not have been possible for me to start racing. At this level, because it's just so expensive. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. So it's time for me to go to the next race. Thank you for watching. Feel free to ask questions, I will answer all of them. Ciao. Thanks to my sponsors.